Hello, I'm Dr Eugenia Cheng, Senior Lecturer of Pure Mathematics at the University of Sheffield, and I really feel like a drink. But I don't feel like a 175 milliliter drink, and I don't feel like a 250 milliliter drink either. Have you noticed how small glasses of wine seem to have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger? I'm sure they used to be 100 milliliters. So have you ever tried doing this? Go to a bar or a restaurant and ask for a 100 milliliter glass of wine. I've tried this and they'll probably look at you and go, no, sorry, we can't do that because we've only got a 175 and a 250 milliliter measure. So of course the question is, how can you make 100 milliliters of wine out of these two measures of wine? Hmm. Hmm. Is it possible? Do you think it's possible? OK, here's how I think we can do it. We can pour out 175 millilitres, first of all. Now, if we pour that into the other glass, nicely aerating the wine in the process, how much of a gap is there now at the top of that glass of wine? Well, it's 250 minus 175. So there's a 75 millilitre gap at the top. Now, if I pour out another 175 millilitre glass of wine, All I have to do now is pour away 75 millilitres. So if I now top that one up to 250, what I'll have left here is 175 minus 75. Here is my 100 millilitre glass of wine. It looks a bit small in there, doesn't it? Cheers. Of course, there's a slight snag to this, which is that in total, I've used up two 175 milliliter glasses of wine to do it. So they'll probably object to that as a, as a method. But here's the question. What if I wanted some other amount of wine? How did I know that that was necessarily going to be possible? And the answer is that I could have made any multiple of 25 from these two different things. And the reason is that there's a lovely maths theorem that says that if you've got two, let's say, wine glass measures, I can make any multiple of the highest common factor. The highest common factor remember, is the biggest number that goes into both of those two numbers. And the biggest number, well, 5 definitely goes into both of them, right? But 25 also goes into both of them, and that is the biggest number that will go into both. So, in fact, I can make any multiple of 25 out of these two measures of wine. So you can try it for yourself. See if you can work out how I could make, say, 25 millilitres of wine if I wanted just a tiny shot of wine. Cheers.